Does your deck look tired and worn? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you how I gave mine a mini makeover. Watch till the end and I'll show you my personal fireworks display. Guys, I am so excited. Today is Decorate Deck Day. I have been waiting for a month. The cushions just arrived a few minutes ago. We have a new umbrella, a new rug to put down. I've got my new planters of flowers and we've got lots to do. So let's get started. As you can see, these have already been cleaned, but they desperately need to be replaced. they have a zipper filled with foam so you can remove the cushions and wash uh, the covers. Love them. Next I'm going to bring out the big rug and I'm going to go downstairs and bring up the new umbrella. But first let me show you this umbrella so you can really see how it's faded. Here you go. So that is just not real attractive. The next thing we're going to do is open up the new rug. This is what it looks like. Guys, I am going to get this table situated, get the umbrella stand out from under there, put the rug down, and then we'll see what it looks like. I want to show you all how gorgeous this design is before I cover it with the table. I love this. It was absolutely the exact rug that I've been looking for for two years and finally found it. And I will let you know at the end of the video where I purchased these items and what they cost. I love this. Anything with the scroll design, I love. And it goes really, really well with this little rug that I already had here. This rug is made by Hampton Bay and it's seven foot seven inches by 10 feet, 10 inches. It is an off white color and then the black border, the thicker border, the thin border, and then all of that's black. Beautiful, so happy. I wanna show you guys something. The bottom edge of this has rusted where it's been left outside so I just cleaned it with soap and water with um, kind of like a Brillo pad and then it came out and I, I rinsed it. So I am going to hot glue burlap ribbon around here in hopes that that won't put a rust spot on the new rug. Another thing um, that I could do, but I'm not going to do, I don't think since I'm going to put the burlap on there is you could use nail polish or varnish if you had varnish or I could paint it and wait, but I'm going to go the route of hot gluing the burlap ribbon on there and see how that works. 
So after thinking about it for a few minutes, I did decide that I'm going to coat it with the nail polish for the sake of this video so I can get this video done and then I might end up painting uh, the umbrella stand later. But just to show you all what everything's going to look like put together, I want to go ahead and get it done. But I do at least want to protect it a little bit now. So I don't really don't want a rust spot on that new rug. So that's what I'm going to do. Guys, I did decide to put the nail polish on and I let that dry outside and then I brought this in and I hot glued that burlap trim on there all the way around. And then I actually went all the way around again and just put a thick layer of hot glue all the way around. So hopefully that will prevent any rust at least for a while. And I have a good Good fortune with using hot glue outside. When I made my fall pumpkin topiaries, I hot glued those and they stayed together. I like this idea, so hopefully you'll find that as a good tip and you might want to try it on anything that you have outdoors that could actually put rust on any new rugs that you have. So we'll see how it works out. still in really good shape. I love all the colors. It does have the black and the creamy gold color in them so it does coordinate well with the rugs out here. So let's put these in place. <laughs> So here is the finished look. This is the little rug that we already had. I added these gorgeous planners from Tuesday morning. Love those. I got the flowers from Lowe's. So we have a vase on either end. I ordered the rug online and honestly, I can't remember where I ordered it from. I looked so many places, but I'll have that linked below. And the cushions came from a Walmart. I had to wait a while on the rug and the cushions. And these little pillows I got at Walmart last year. Love them. They're so cute. Brings that element of nature to this outdoor dining area. The pots I got at Lowe's. And I want to show you what I did here. Those are just garbage bags. Okay, and these little topiary balls came from Ross and they were $6.99 each. Left the tags on, of course, so you all can see the prices. Did the same thing there with that. The dishes are Better Homes and Gardens. The little salad plates are. The dishes below are actually from Dollar Tree. And I showed you the napkins a minute ago. The placemats are from Dollar Tree and the glasses are from Dollar Tree doesn't get any better than that. The umbrella looks so much better than the last one that we had. Although there's not a thing wrong with, with the last one, it's just faded. So it's still in good working order. The umbrella came from Tuesday morning and it was $39. And that is an awesome price. And I will have these items uh, and their prices linked below. So you can check those out. Love this grouping, guys. What do you all think? Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. 
don't be afraid to mix and match colors. Although we have the black and the off-white cushions, seat cushions, you can still mix different color pillows. You can mix animals, nature, geometrics, solids, stripes, whatever you want to do. Just make sure that the colors that you are using pulls from the cushions that you're using or the umbrella or the rug. You want it to make sense of the colors that you have chosen. We could go with the reds, we could go with black, golds, the greens, white, blue, you name it. We have lots of colors to choose from there. I added over here, you gotta have your fly swats because there are bugs out, it is summertime. And this little bungee is just to wrap around the umbrella. I actually have an umbrella co cover that I've had for years, but I'm so short, I have to get a stool to get up there and put it on the top of that very tall umbrella. So for that reason, I just typically wrap it with the bungee. So I'll just take you around, give you a different view, going around the table. And you could decorate the table with any decor that you wanted. Lanterns would be cute out here with LED candles in them uh, or LED lights. I actually, speaking of that, I wanna show you a project that I got started last year and I need to tweak it a little bit. I got this idea from um, another gal on YouTube, and I honestly, I cannot remember who it was, but I thought this was so cute. These little lights came from Dollar Tree, and this is one of those planters that has the moss in it, and I already had the shepherd's hook. So I have one of the lights that I need to take apart and clean. It should start working again, but one of them uh, is not working at the moment, and I wanna paint the rusty part here so i want to use this i want to put this in a pot that's for another day right here in a pot fix the light spray paint it white and then we'll have some outdoor lighting and again you can also like i said you can put your led candles and some lanterns out here that would be really pretty but this is what i came up with today it is fourth of july weekend so we are going to add some little flags to our planter and these are made out of foam. I thought they were so cute. Got those from the Dollar Tree. All right, so I told you I was gonna tell you how much these were. These were, the flowers were only $19.88 each. I keep my tag there so it helps me know how to water these and how to take care of those and what they need to stay so pretty. Love those, gorgeous. I'm gonna show you all what I did to make these plants be able to fit inside this pot because the pot was too deep and the mouth of the pot was too wide for these flowers from Lowe's. So I'm gonna show you what I built and I will link that video to this one and you might wanna build one yourself. It was really, really easy to do. So I made these little pedestals out of plywood and two by fours. So there's a planter down in there covered with a plastic bag. You could use whatever plastic bag you want. And then I'm gonna set the plant back on top. And these pots were $24.99 from Tuesday morning. And there you have it. You can incorporate the 4th of July in multiple ways. You can add little flags to the back of the chairs. You could add flag napkins. You can add red, white, and blue in any way that you choose. You can have the red, white, and blue pillows. You name it. You can incorporate it in the food, the desserts, the beverages that you serve. I want to take this time to just say how thankful I am for our country, the freedoms that we have here. And I'm so thankful. I know this isn't Memorial Day, but I am so thankful for the men and women who have fought and sacrificed for our country. And I'm so proud of that flag. So thank you to everyone who has served. You all have a fantastic holiday weekend and God bless, I'll see you in the next one.